Why do people create computer viruses? Malware has become a fact of life for everyone using computers these days. This has forced us to use security software such as antivirus and firewalls to protect our computers. There were over 50,000 computer viruses in the year 2000 and this number has only continued to grow. Sophos in a print ad in June of 2005 claimed that there were over 103,000 viruses and Symantec claimed in April of 2008 that there were over 1 million. These figures show how computer viruses and malware are being created at an increasingly fast rate. This leads to the question of why anyone would want to create malware. And obviously, the answer is going to be complex with so many people creating viruses. There may be possibly hundreds of reasons to create viruses, but most viruses are created to make money. Almost all computer viruses and malware are written for profit. This has been the case for most of the last 20 to 25 years. Frequently, it is developed by criminal organizations. Many of these criminal organizations operate similarly to legitimate companies, with uh, different departments or individuals focusing on and specializing in the various stages of developing the viruses. There are many revenue streams that are used to make money with computer malware. These range from tracking computer users and gathering information on them. They can also be used to trick users into paying for fake tech support. This is done by using the virus to launch a pop-up window, telling them that they have a virus or other computer problem, and to call a number to receive help with the issue. If the user calls that number, they will then be told they need to pay to have the issue fixed. Whether the issue, meaning the virus, is actually fixed or not depends. Many times the computer is left infected with the same or different malware. Viruses are also frequently used to create botnets. Botnets are used by infecting computers. The infected computer is then under the control of the person who created the botnet. These botnets are used to make money through a number of ways. However, one of the more common ways is through DDoS extortion where all of the computers in the botnet are instructed to repeatedly visit a website in an attempt to take it offline, and the website's user is then instructed to pay the botnet's controller to stop the attack. Another common way that botnets are used is click fraud. Click fraud is frequently used to create clicks on ads to generate ad revenue for the botnet's controller. Additionally, viruses known as keyloggers are used to gather login information such as for banks, PayPal, and additionally they'll get credit card information. The information is then either used by the keylogger's creator or sold to other criminals. The newest and one of the most frightening form of malware is known as ransomware. Ransomware encrypts data on the target computer. Then the computer's owner is instructed to pay a ransom to get a code to unencrypt their data. According to the FBI, over 4,000 ransomware attacks occurred every day in 2016, which was a 300% increase over the year 2015. And that number is only growing as Kaspersky is now estimating that at least one attack occurs every two minutes. While profit is the main reason that malware is created, some malware is made simply by people or organizations who want to be malicious or prove that they can actually create the software. This was especially common in the early viruses that were made in the early days of personal computing. Additionally, malware can be created by governments and organizations for espionage purposes and to attack specific targets. An example of this would be Stuxnet, which was used to target Iran's nuclear program and is believed to have been developed by the United States and Israel. It targeted a very specific computer configuration, meaning that most of the machines that were infected by the virus suffered no damage. This was done by the creators intentionally to prevent collateral damage. As the internet and computers continue to become more and more vital to everyday life, it's important to attempt to protect your devices from malware. Always keep up-to-date malware protection and try to avoid websites that you don't know to be trustworthy. It's also wise to keep backups of any important files in case they are damaged or encrypted by malware. These days, it's less a case of if your device will get malware and more a case of when.